Reports say U.S. and Afghan aircraft have carried out multiple airstrikes on Taliban positions in Helmand province. It comes as the Taliban threatens to take control of three key cities in the country, including Lashkar where security forces have engaged in a street-to-street -street battle with the insurgents. An official in Herat in the west said the militants had been pushed back from the gates of the city and a clearance operation was going on. Heavy clashes are also continuing in Kandahar in the south. As as the fighting rages, the Afghan president, Ashraf Ghani, says the deteriorating security situation in Afghanistan is a result of the abrupt withdrawal of U.S. troops from the country. Have a listen. The reason for today's security situation is the sudden withdrawal of the international troops. I said this to the United States president, and I respect his decision to leave, but any action as such will have great consequences for Afghans. My prediction was right. The sudden pullout has created confusion. Today we are dealing with those consequences, and it is our responsibility now to deal with the dangers. I would like to point out that we have now a very clear vision and plan for taking back control. Our security forces are ready. They have reassembled, know the plan, and are getting stronger by the day. We are planning to implement our security plan in six months and take back control and return to normality. Ashraf Ghani there. Well, Mitra Mehran is a women empowerment and education advocate in Afghanistan. She's the co-founder of the NGO Feminine Perspectives Movement. She joins me live now from Kabul. Mitra John, thank you very much for joining us. Just first of all, your response to what Ashraf Ghani has said today. Um, thank you so much for having me. Um, j just wanted to clarify that Feminine Perspectives Campaign is a voluntary movement. Um, we are not an NGO. Um, on what President say, I think I agree on part uh, that the United, that the international forces and mainly U um, U.S. forces withdrawal is very irresponsible. Um, and, and, and the decision was made in rush without considering the consequences that we are suffering now because a lot of um, uh, atrocities happening across Afghanistan, women, children, and civilians are suffering um, as a result. Um, uh, Human Rights Commission reported uh, two days ago that um, there, uh, there is an 80% increase in uh, civilian casualties um, uh, compared to uh, last year this time. And, and I think that is because um, the withdrawal happening uh, was uh, didn't consider uh, its consequences, um, the, and, and it's happening while peace talk and uh, negotiations haven't um, got to any result. Um, uh, and well, uh, that, I mean, you, you've just you've just said uh, the suffering of women and children, and we're seeing a lot on social media. Could you just give us some more specifics of what you're hearing uh, from uh, some of these places that the, that the Taliban have taken over? Exactly. Unfortunately, just today, um, there were uh, there was a news and picture of a, ch um, a child who was beaten badly to death um, because she uh, he is a son of um, uh, one of the soldiers of Afghan government and Taliban beat him to death. There are many um, news in uh, that fortunately has been documented. Uh, foreign policy had a news um, on that too. That there, for example, in in parts of um, um, Molestan, um, we are Taliban take the control. They asked the people to give a list of their young women so they uh, they would marry them to their fighters. Um, in um, in in every single area, the the Taliban are in control. They have limited women's uh, freedom of movement, which consequently means women cannot go to school, women cannot go to hospital if they are sick, and and they conditioned women's movement outside of their houses if they are in company of um, a male member of the family. Um, so uh, in in you and they are um, around the country. Uh, humanitarian law is not considered and respected um, uh, in I any mean, part. What do just... you fear? What do you fear most will happen uh, to Afghanistan? Uh, you know, is it is it the loss of of the freedoms and opportunities and the gains of the last two decades? 
I think every, everything. Um, we are in a critical situation, struggling with with losing everything: um, freedom of speech, women's progress, um, um, uh, all the human rights um, uh, progresses we made. Um, in, um, in everything, even even in terms of physical constructions, we had their uh, their um, uh, burning the governmental buildings. Uh, they are turning um, schools and hospitals um, in, in, in into a battlefield where they use it as a uh, as a place to uh, attack others. Um, I think all the progress is made are at risk. Um, that we are in the middle of a, a bad war now. We are an insurgent group um, is um, has received a, a lot of legitimacy in moral to just um, come and attack um, all the development we did in the past year all the uh, democratic values we built and worked for it and, and, and sacrificed a lot of indeed. lives. Yeah, indeed. Um, uh, Mitra John, thank you very much for taking the time uh, to help us understand the situation on the ground.